Spontaneous is probably the best way to describe when and how I start projects spontaneously. I was cleaning green washable marker off of the cushions of my dining chairs and then I decided to bring one of them outside to sit in the sun to dry and let the sun sterilize it. And then I was like, I'm gonna bring all of them out. And then I decided <laughs> what better time than now than the present while they're all outside to go ahead and reinforce the seats. And I'm excited because I think it's gonna be easier than I originally thought and I'll show you why. These bands have just been loosened over time, but all I'll have to do is pull them apart and then reattach them tighter. So I think that once I unscrew these, take the seat off and then have access to these, may, it may be nails, it may be staples, I'm not sure, but I'll pull them off and then reattach them more securely. And that should fix the problem of the seat. <laughs> access to the bottom. I'm just gonna pull up all these staples and then I may need to pull up the staples of the fabric to get to the, can't really see through this, but the, basically the support of the seat. It may be a little dry rotted so I may actually end up having to replace it, but we'll see when we get there. All right, here's where we're at. These guys did not want to come up. Um, so I ripped them so that I could pull them tighter and staple them down. Cause if you, as you can see here, like they're just, they're so loose, they're not even doing anything. So I'm just gonna tighten them up and hopefully that'll help and work. I've already tried one time to re, not refinish, to reinforce the dining room chairs. I started the process and I took all of the seats off and basically with one of them, I went ahead and removed the cushion. And I realized after getting down and looking at the actual supports that they needed to just be replaced. I thought I might be able to reuse them and just tighten them, but they were a little bit dry rotted. So I ended up buying a vehicle recovery strap from Lowe's because it was on sale and I was there. I probably should have just gone to an upholstery place, but I am a little bit impatient and it'll work great for my purposes. So that's what I'm working on now. What I'm gonna do is just take all of the staples out that I need to anyway to get down to the supports, remove them, and then staple in the new straps. And hopefully we'll have some seats that don't feel like you're sinking into a hole when you sit down in them. So I just removed the cushion. This was kind of the layering situation. We had one of those and then this on top. So they all looked like that originally. But I had to unstaple all of this to get down to here. And you can see just how pathetic, like these are supposed to be taut and they're just completely loose, slacking so much of our time. So um, what I originally was gonna do was just remove these and tighten them on. Um, but I did it with one of them, with the original or the first one that I did, that I removed the straps from and I, I retightened them and then when I sat down in it, I could tell it would just be a few more months and it would be right back to where it was. So we are just starting brand new with some <laughs> vehicle recovery straps and we'll see where, where that leaves us. Oh, right on your 
pero... So, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. These staples were kind of rusted down, so I was not really able to pull up the edges. It was so dry rotted. So I'm just gonna clean it up as best I can and then just staple over them. Oh gosh, there you go. <sighs> Being a mom is the hardest job out there. And I love my job, but the emotions that come when you lose your energy and your patience and you like just end up you know breaking down and yelling at the kids and then how awful you feel after you do it it's just it's such a mixed bag of emotions and um it's definitely been you know, this one's from building, and Hunter and I probably should have <laughs> seen it coming, but... <sighs> yeah, I lost it on the kids today. Not much got done apart from me cleaning up both Airbnbs, because I had guests to check out this morning out of both, and then, um, you know, just trying to keep the kids alive and entertained. They both are just going through a phase right now that really tests my patience. And then, you know, you feel terrible after you lose it with the kids. You have to apologize. Hunter is with them right now. He just got back a little bit ago and he took them to their cousin's birthday party, which is so great. That they're going to get to go out and do something a little bit more fun. Um, but I... I had it in my hand. The straps for the dining chairs arrived in the mail. I ended up just ordering some because I was not making it out to any upholstery or craft stores and I was tired of waiting so <laughs> I ordered some. It just arrived so I'm gonna do something with my hands and um yeah, just enjoy a little bit of quiet and peace while the children are out. Um, and yeah, you can join me while I while I do while I work on these chairs. <laughs> Today didn't go as planned, but when when have we ever been guaranteed that our days or our lives will go as planned? Never, not once that I can recall. So. Here we go. Let's work on these chairs. Tossing me this, and then me throwing stint. Um, I needed someone to help me with the stuff, and she's here. She's helping me. Thank you. Oh, must. And then we can do it from both directions. So this is the plan. This is the plan. So Kira is gonna throw the triangle, and I. The staples are sticking up a little bit. I'm gonna hammer them down and then just put the upholstery back on it and that'll be it. And rinse and repeat for all of them. <laughs> better support. There's not a giant hole when you sit down. <sighs> That's better. Mm. Okay, 
One down, four more to go. Because the sixth does not have a seat. So I'll need to create that one from scratch. We can do this. <laughs>